CataractCoach.com. The Iowa gets entangled with the pupil ring. Ooh, how are you going to free this one up? Let me show you the case here. We'll cut right to it. Here's implantation of the pupil ring. So putting that inside the eye here, looks like perhaps a Maldugan ring or similar device. And so that's gone inside the eye, getting those four scrolls here placed appropriately. So there's one, oh, almost. Usually when I inject these, I like to actually insert it so that it captures the pupil margin as we're injecting it. You could probably get three out of the four of them just with the injector. So there's one. Here comes the second scroll. All right, that looks pretty reasonable. Here's the third scroll. And that looks pretty good. And here, oh, almost. And then we'll do the fourth scroll. So there's the, there's the third one. There you go. And now here's the fourth one. And so not sure exactly why the patient has such a small pupil. Maybe it's an IFIS or Flomax case, but that looks pretty good. So the ring's in good position here. That's all pretty routine. So nucleus removal is going to be pretty straightforward. Let's see, using a cystotome here to start a rexus and get a rexus going. And then in a case like this, yeah, I make a sufficiently large rexus. And so still aiming for your five or five and a half millimeter rexus. Not sure exactly what the size of this ring is. Is this the, In the U.S., the Medellin ring is available in two different sizes. So let's fast forward to the end of the case here. Cleaning up the capsule bag by manual IA for cortex removal. That looks pretty good. The pupil expansion ring is still in good position, and it's not engaging the capsular rexus, which is good. So now here's the viscoelastic, getting ready for eye wall implantation. Again, rexus is free. And now here comes the lens, and let's see what happens here. Why is there an issue here? Injecting, there's the leading haptic going in the correct orientation, like the letter 7 or 7L rule. And then the trailing haptic, get that in the bag. So I'd want this in the bag before it starts to open up. But now look. Now, you disinserted the ring with the trailing haptic. And now, as you try to remove the ring, let's take a look here. No, the, as you rotate the ring, the IOL spinning. Well, that, for sure, it's caught up in there. The trailing haptic got caught up in the expansion ring. Yeah, it's stuck on that lens. So what are you going to do here? Think about what would you do? Well, more viscoelastic is a good idea. Maybe get that lens up. You got to get it, um, you know, detangled. There it is. There, now you see what happened. So now there's the more viscoelastic going in. You got to get that ring out of the eye too. Bring that ring out of the eye. Let's see what we got. Yeah, move the ring around. No, it's still caught. Look at that. So the IOL is like partially above it. There you go. You got to get the ring Get that trailing haptic. I get that one haptic and push it through the ring. So the ring is on top now. Because you can try to explant the ring here, but look, it's going to catch that haptic. You don't want to like you don't want to damage that lens. You don't want to scrape the endothelium. Now the lens is going upside down. Hmm. So here's where you just get that lens put back into position here. There you go. Push it over. That's it. Get that in the eye, and now there it is coming off, finally, off the trailing haptic. Go inside the eye and move that haptic. Yeah, you could just yank it. All right, there you go. Oof. Got to be careful here. Nice nice save. Now more viscoelastic. Now the key here is make sure the eye well goes fully in the capsule bag. The danger here is you just say, well, I'll just dial it in, and you put it behind the iris, and you have one haptic in the sulcus, one in the, in the bag. That's going to be a bad recipe. You don't want that. So get that lens in, but you really want to get it in the bag. That, that haptic there, that trailing one that's on top of the iris, that needs to go in the bag, and then you need to confirm. Use the chopper sensory to lift up the iris to check and make sure it's totally in the bag, and then the patient will have a nice outcome. Here's the end of the case. Woo, good save. Thank you for the video.